How does one stay young and beautiful? Jolly good question. Well, first and foremost is rest. When Rupert and I were first married, he had a job at the bank in Calcutta. And then we moved out to Hong Kong with Jardine. There was a great deal of gallivanting with those Jardine Johnnies and the Hong Kong bank boys. They had their own mess up at the peak, but they still got trolleyed at the captain's bar at the Mandarin. Smashed, gazeboed, car park. I much preferred the den at the Hilton, and of course the US troops on R&R &R from Vietnam would stay at the Hilton. But rest, rest is what is required to stay young, so I would have a brandy Alexander or two, and, and then I would retire to our flat in Repulse Bay, smoking. Where there's your face? Oh, look at the French. I had the odd fag at boarding school. Everything in moderation. But everyone I knew was puffing on Winstons and Kents and Peter Stives and Sigs. That's why they're all dead now. One must wear a hat on one's head if one wants to stay looking young, and lather oneself in copper tone and nose coat, especially when one lives in the Far East. And of course, we had a junk and a coxswain, so we were always sailing out to Lama or Hebe Haven, we're always out in the sun. And one must eat good food to stay young and healthy. Gourmet, not a gourmand. Especially for women, one must stay slim. We had an armor, she would pop down to Stanley Market, pop down. We called her lightning, she was the opposite of that. She would pick up fresh fruit and veg and fish, put it in the icebox, and we had a wonderful cook. The only thing I couldn't stand about the pair of them was I would listen to that bloody opera ad nauseam on the wireless. And of course, peace, I think, helps to keep you young, feeling young, but easier said than done, because of course life is a, a pound of sour and an ounce of sweet. But peace certainly helps. That's what my father fought for, and my mother. Hey, it's one of the reasons why I enjoy living in Stanley so much. Church on Sundays up the fort, small congregation, a wonderful vicar. The only drawback was it was next to Stanley Prison. The vicar never did marry. He'd often come and have tea with us at half past three, and then we'd stroll down to the beach, which kept it immaculately clean by the prisoners. It reminds me of something my mother would always say. This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice be glad in it.